Hello and welcome to Chocolate and Cheese with Dom and Lou. Oh my god, that's 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 like harmonizing. I really like that actually. That sounds pretty cool. Right, um, welcome to Riddle Wednesday. And mm. um, as I said, um, I think in yesterday's show, I was very excited to mm. see that Gotham was back. Yeah. Um, and both and because we both love this show, mm. we thought, hey, we're gonna have um, a show dedicated to the Riddler, which is mm. one of my favorite characters. So let's do a Riddle show, okay? Riddle. Um, let's riddle. Let's riddle, absolutely. Um, so it's gonna be like a, a mind-bending quiz show where Lou is the contestant because she loves doing that and she's really good at uh, quizzes wink wink nudge nudge um, yes I've got 10 riddles for you in mm. the Riddler style mm. and uh, let's see how many you're going to get Lou what's your bet how many do you think you might get from the Riddlers uh, I think riddles? I'm gonna get at least to 10 okay that's good that's good okay I think you might get zero <laughs> okay let's go for it number one you ready ready one night a butcher a baker and a candlestick maker go to a hotel. When they get their bill, however, it's for four people. Who is the fourth person? The person is talking now. No. You think that's you, you probably think that's only that's that you three. Have, you think it's only three, mm. exactly, and that's what most people think. Well the story starts with one night. A butcher, blah blah blah. So they think it's in the evening, yeah. but actually it's a night. K M I G H T, and that makes them four people. You see, that's the cheeky one. Okay, okay, now don't get you know, don't be too worried. Most people get that wrong. Number two, are you ready? A man was cleaning the windows of a twenty-five story building. He slipped and fell off the ladder, but he wasn't hurt. How did he do it? Because you didn't say which floor. Oh, well done. So maybe well. he was cleaning first floor. Well, he was actually only on his second step of the ladder. Ah. Very good. I think I'll de you'll definitely get a point for that one. So ah. that's your number one. So you're already better than I thought. Ah. And you're only um, eight away to, um, well, to get them to number nine. But well done. So that was the one, one point. Can you please do that? Yeah. Okay, number three. Hmm. I have keys, but no locks. I have space, but no room. You can enter, but can't go inside. So I can't go outside. What am I? I'm gonna say it one more time. I have keys, but no locks. I have space, but no room. You can enter, but can't go outside. What am I? I have no idea. Uh, safe? A, oh, a keyboard. It's basically all ah. the keys on there. Well, okay, it's a cheeky one, I, I admit. Jeez. Number four. Hmm. A lawyer, a plumber and a hat maker were walking down the street. Who had the biggest hat? <laughs> lawyer. It's very, like, very Alice in Wonderland kind of thing. Hatter. No, he's not really that. You, you mean the hat maker has uh. the biggest hat? No, it's actually the one with the biggest head. Yeah, obviously. You know? So it really did, it did it didn't matter who these people are. Yeah. It's the biggest the, the person with the biggest hat has always the biggest hat. So yeah. it's it's kinda of like you know really cheeky yeah. trick tricking you to to into this. No, it's a normal Probably. question. No. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I told her the answer, you still doesn't get it. No. It does <laughs> it doesn't matter the, who the characters are. It's the one uh, with the biggest head. Head. You know, like head. Uh, oh, Who's okay. got the biggest hat? Uh -huh. Okay. Lou is still puzzled by this. Uh -huh. Okay, number five. If two is company mm. and three is a crowd, you know this kind of saying, yeah? Two is a company, three is a crowd. Yeah. You know, so, so, okay, so what that means, okay, mm. for, for the, for, for, for the non-English speaking uh, mm. uh, listeners, two is a company basically means it's a perfect match. It's just two people, you know, like, like, like best friends, lovers, it's, uh -huh. it's, it's the best number. Ah. If there's three, there's always one too much. Mm. And that's why it's called a crowd. Uh -huh. Okay, now, if that's the case, what are four and five? Your pet. No, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> My pet? <laughs> no. Uh, four and five is actually nine. Okay, it's again really, really cheeky. Okay, you can see it's, it's like really playing with your mind now, okay? Because it's setting you up to think in a particular way, like, you know, I like. Quite yeah, don't get yeah I, I, I. Well, yeah. It, it, basically, the, the, the first part of the question doesn't have anything to do with the second part. Uh -huh. That's the confusing bit. Uh -huh. Okay? You can forget about the first part. Uh -huh. The question really is just what are four and five? Uh -huh. That's nine. 
Lou is still, I'm not quite sure whether she's drunk or whether she's truly mad. <laughs> okay, number six. Okay. Can you name the two days starting with T mm. besides Tuesday and Thursday? Mm. Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah. Besides? Yeah. Why? Apart. Yeah, what, can, but somebody, why? can somebody get Lou a dictionary, have please? It has to be Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah. What are the other days? Other days? Mm, that's the question. Oh my god, Lou is very... She, you see, this is really... It's a, it's, it's a mind-bending puzzle. I think people who do this puzzle, they're gonna end up mad. Mm. <laughs> so because please play, this, play this with your friends or with your family and they are definitely going to be ready for the Lulu home. Twenties. Twenties? Is that your answer? <laughs> what do you mean twenties? <laughs> twenties <laughs> and twelves. Your answer is getting more and more bizarre. No. The two days apart from oh. Tuesday and Thursday are today Step. and tomorrow. <laughs> this is today. so funny. I really think, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm worried about your sanity, Lou. I think I should <laughs> stop this quiz. You're going really mad now with your answer. I'm getting seriously concerned. Anyway, this is fun. Number seven. Jack rode into town on Friday and rode out mm. two days later mm. on Friday. How is that possible? Hmm? How is that possible? So I say it again, yeah? Mm -hmm. Jack rode into town on Friday and rode out two days later on Friday. How can that be possible? Most people get this no wrong. Yeah. Well, in the first instance, it, it doesn't really matter, but Friday is the horse's name. Uh, ah, that's uh, cheeky. That's cheeky. I know, it's cheeky. Okay, number eight, mm -hmm. almost, almost the end. Now, this is very, very, this is a typical Riddler style question. Mm. The more it dries, the wetter it becomes. Oh my God. What is it? I, s I think that you should get this, Lou. I think you kind of, you kind of go get that kind of logic. The more dry. The more it dries, the wetter it becomes. Was it? What is it? I actually got that one. Is that food? No, it's a towel. Ah. I know, I know. Number nine. Yeah. A monkey, a squirrel and a bird are racing to the top of a coconut tree. <laughs> Who will get the banana first? The monkey, monkey. the squirrel, uh, or the bird? Monkey. Ah, uh, no, bird. Which one you find? Fly. The bird. They can fly. No, none of them. Because you can't get a banana mm. from a coconut tree. Very cheeky. Again, mm. I also fell into that trap. It's a very, it's, it's so easy, isn't it? I mean, it's, 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 it's just crazy. It's a, it's a simple question and everybody gets I this totally wrong. Forgot yeah. it. Number 10. Right. The weirdest one. What starts with P, hmm. the letter P, hmm. and ends with the letter E, and has more than a thousand letters? Huh? What starts with the letter P and ends with the letter E, e. and has more than one thousand letters? <laughs> That's impossible. Yeah, but it's actually not because it's just a post office. Why? Post, Post office, office starts with a P mm. and ends with an E mm. and the post office mm. has easily a thousand letters. Ah, oh. <laughs> okay, well this concludes the um, Riddler's quiz for today mm. and Lou has the amazing score of, wait for it, Whoa, 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 whoa. One. One. You got one more than I thought, so well done. You should be very proud of yeah. yourself. You're still far away from being crowned um, the Riddler's um, champion, I would mm. say. Um, but, but anyway, um, you know, well, well done. Not, I not still that. haven't got uh, quite... I'm, I'm sure you're still confused uh, about yeah. some of them, but you know, maybe we should leave it for today, because um, okay. I really don't want you to end up in a, in a, in a, in a, a, a loopy uh, Lou hospital. <laughs> Okay, well, play this with your friends, play it with your friends, um, and let us know. Let Why us did know, you say twice? Let us know um, um, whether they've gone mad or um, whether you had fun doing it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the show, and uh, we're going to see you again soon. Yeah. All right, then, bye. Bye bye.